Okay, I'm going to review something today for aimed at hobbyists. So don't hit that dislike button or click away all that quick because what I'm going to show you guys today is very useful. And if you want to get in on it, get in on it now so that this will go into production. Got a gadget to show you guys today. I don't even know what this is yet. I have not opened the box. What is in the box? Piece of paper. So this is a Kickstarter project and it says, says hi, thanks. For the content you share on your channel and the contribution to the community, I'd like to share with you my Kickstarter project that I have launched. It's a power station supplied by USB-C, battery, power bank, or USB, and can provide five independent output voltages, plus a negative with a high current of up to one and a half amps. And it suits all levels of electronics, learners, and prototypers. It's a decent solution for hobbyists, starters, professionals, training centers, and universities to implement hands-on learning and teaching without buying multi-expensive power supplies. It also suits electronics for kids as it's not is safe, not dealing with high voltages like standard power supplies. So, he says, um, hope you find this interesting. I'm not asking you to review it on one of your videos, but I hope you help with my kickstarting Kickstarter campaign. Well, let's take a look at it. So this is what I received. So see, I did not, this just came unsolicited. And uh, oh, even came with a little prototyping board here. What is it? What do we got in here? Or is it a kit? Let's see. Let's see what it got. Let's see, I haven't even opened this thing up yet. This is the first time I've seen it. So we'll go through this together. And uh, see what's here. Okay, we open this up. Oh, the board is complete, so I wonder what this is for. Hmm. I guess this is a size trace width. This is just a, like a little ruler is what this is. That's all that is. That's just a ruler. Cool. That's made out of a piece of PC material. Cool. Excellent. Well, that'll hang on my bench. This is the, uh, the little module. And as you can see on here, it has uh, five volts plus ground minus 12, plus 12. And on this other side, I guess this is the input over here. It's got a power button over here, uh, USB-C and USB mini, uh, mini USB. And I guess this is positive and negative. And that's what it is. And here you've got your, your plus five 12 volts adjust and 3.3 so it's comprised of basically three circuit boards it comes with a little USB adapter and a USB to USB cord well those are always always handy to have that that's for sure let's uh, see what uh, the instructions show me here It says use USB Type C to get the full capabilities of the board. It says uh, using a 5 volt USB will limit the current for each port. So the board accepts various inputs from USB C between 5 and 20 volts. Stand standard uh, USB 5, lithium ion battery, 3.7 volt and higher. Lead acid battery, 6 to 24 volts, and provides multiple outputs at the same time with different polarities. That's plus 3.3, plus 5, plus 12, and negative 12 volts. And adjustable. You can uh, get the two outputs adjustable that can supply uh, loads up to 1.5 amps. Provides short circuit protection, overheat protection, and ensures uniform thermal distribution with less heating for prolonged life. And that's, uh, that's it for this. It just shows your input and output. They can use a lead acid battery too. And there's got to be a way to adjust this. Multi multi-port parallel outputs, spreadboard compatible, adjustment voltage, and 12 volt adjustment. So there's a, there's pots right on the board, right there. You got fixed outputs and an adjustable output. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. I haven't plugged anything in yet. Let's plug it in and just just see exactly what this thing does. So I'm going to use the adapter that came with it. Let's 
plug in. It lights up to tell me that my voltages are there. So I got test points here, test points for the adjustable and ground. So if I put the meter on here, we'll see how accurate the, uh, the, the, the setup is right out of the box. So between ground and plus five, we have five volts. We have 3.3 volts. The next one is a negative 12, which as you can see, it is. And this one is a positive 12. And this one here is an adjustable output, which is currently at 20. And I would imagine that that also does the same here. This one will measure plus 12. And this one here is 20 volts. The 12 volt and 20 volt and variable output are adjustable so with the small screwdriver here and that's the same as this output here right that's the, that's the adjustable so with our adjustments we can turn the variable adjustment down if I can. So if you need a specific voltage, say so you needed 7.5 volts to power something, you could have 7.5 volts. Very useful. And then the, the 12 volt port over here, because it's got a, a the 12 volt adjustment, I think that will be adjusted by this one here. This will adjust the, the, the positive 12 volt. Which it does. So if you wanted 13.8, you could turn it up. Or you could set it right down at, at 12 volts. Curious, does this change the negative 12 or does it stay at negative 12? Where are we here? There. And it stays at negative 12. So that is not adjustable. Just the, the 12 volt is adjustable, which I've turned down to 7.5. And it's also, of course, tested right there. Test points on top here so that if you've got it wired in, you can put your probes on right to the board itself and make your adjustments. Now, I know he's not asked for a uh, review, but I think we'll uh, just hook this thing up and uh, see what we can power with it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to power it up from a battery. So I have a single lithium battery, 3.7 volts. We'll connect this up, positive to the positive terminal, and negative to the negative terminal. places where it's not going to short out. And I've already connected to the terminals on the back of the board here. I haven't turned it on yet. Now it's on. And you'll see that we've got our supply bolt, which is this has a boost converter on it and buck converters adjustable. So if we look at our, our different voltages again, ground, We've got plus 5, plus 3.3, negative 12, uh, ground, plus 12, and my adjustable, which I set to 7.5 before. So we've got our, our same voltages, yet our input voltage is only 3.9 volts. That's my input. So this is useful for those wanting to experiment and build a project and power it up with a single or multiple lithium-ion batteries, but you can certainly do it with a single battery and have your all your different output voltages, again with your, your current of up to one and a half amp. I found an old camcorder. It requires 6.5 volts. You guys haven't seen this yet because I haven't done anything with it. It was given to me. I don't know whether it works or not. 
but I didn't get a power supply or anything for it. It's an old Sanyo 8mm camcorder, but you see it takes 6.5 volts. So um, I'm going to uh, hook this up for 6.5 volts and see if I can power this camcorder up. So I've connected the camcorder just to the battery wires. I did not have a suitable plug. It's an oddball size plug and I don't have one that fits it. So I just connected it to the existing battery wires. We'll turn on the little power station, the tick station as it's called. Turn that on and see whether we have enough power. To power. I don't even know if this camera works, you know, to tell you the truth. It may not even work, but uh, I don't know if it's got enough current either to make it work, but uh, we'll see. We'll see whether it's got enough power to turn this thing on. I don't even know how to work this camera. Uh, operate open battery. How do you turn this thing on? Power. Power button over here. The camera may not even work. But we'll see if we've got enough current. This might require more than, than one and a half amps. But we'll take a look and see whether we're getting enough power. We may not be getting enough current. I may have to power this up from the, the uh, USB input for that. But let's just see what type of voltage we've got now on the six and a half volt output. So it's dropped a bit. Let's just try, let's try powering this up instead of powering it from a battery. Let's try powering it from a USB-C source. So let me just disconnect the wires going to the uh, to the unit. We'll plug this into the USB power source and see whether we've got a more stable voltage. Okay, power on. Yes. I think we've got more stable voltage now because the lights aren't flickering. Will the camera turn on? Looks like the camera will turn on. That's called feedback because the microphone is on. So it has a picture. So it's powering the camera. As you can see, it's lighting up. So feeding it with a USB power supply, USB C power supply, and I'm sure if I if I replaced the uh, lithium battery with a couple of lithium cells and uh, or even a 12 volt battery but anyway um, there you go it'll power a camcorder will it power the playback side of things let's just see here I'll pop a tape in this thing and see whether it'll play don't know if this camera plays oh look it does camera actually works okay, because the guy that uh, had it he lost the power adapter for it uh, was given to me a little while back I guess it was uh, he had, had it given to him and it didn't have an adapter for it and the guy that gave it to him couldn't find the adapter so he just gave it to me he said well you know he thought he could use it to uh, transfer his tapes over, but he didn't have a power adapter for it. And he didn't want to go buy a power adapter. And you know what? One of these would have been sufficient. So, a uh, link to this th this uh, Kickstarter I'm going to put on the screen here. Um, that's about all I can show you on this thing. It looks like it does what, it's, uh, what it claims. It provides multiple voltages. And uh, it might be just what you need for your little projects. And for more information, you can go to TickStation.com, find out everything you'd like to find out about this, and I will put the link to the Kickstarter. There it is. If you want to look at that, I'll put it in the description, but uh, www.kickstarter.com slash projects slash W-I-S-S-A slash mini dash power dash station. I wish him the best of luck with his Kickstarter. I think that there's a certainly is a market for something like this. If for nothing else, to help people that have got obsolete electronics that they've lost the power supply for. This turns what would have been a piece of junk because no one's going to go and buy a, 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 the, this requiring such an oddball voltage of 6.5 volts and some of them will take 7.5 but you know you got something that has an oddball non-standard voltage. Um, oddball power supplies are not a dime a dozen. You typically have to go back and try to find the original um, power supply which can be expensive. 
this could be a low cost solution for anybody in this predicament like this camcorder that could turn something that was useless into something that can be used for archiving so there you go thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next one real soon bye